29 August 2023 Martin Bursley Aum Shanti Baptada Madhupan Sweet children, to apply knowledge like sandalwood means create the fragrance according to Srimad and become pure is to claim the kingdom of self-sovereignty. Promise to remain pure and you will receive the tilak of the Sandinista kingdom. Question. Who ties rakhis on your children? Who puts the tilaks on you? Why is there the custom of offering sweets to sweeten your mouth? Answer. Your senior mummy, means mother Brahma, ties rakhis on you to purify you. Then, when you make a vow to remain pure, the father puts tilak of self-sovereignty on you. To sweeten your mouth means to bestow all blessings. Together with tilaks of self-sovereignty, the father has also given you all blessings. The memorial of this custom has continued. Song There is love on this side and the world on the other side. Which we should I go? Om Shanti God speaks. Acha. God definitely has to have a name. God only has one name. Human beings have many names. Each time you take a new body, your name also changes. Everyone definitely has a body and enters the cycle of birth and death and they are also given many different names. People have love for many. Maternal uncles, paternal uncles, gurus and holy men etc. They have love for so many. They have many different relations. There is now only one relation. All other relations have been pulling you down and making you fall. Only that one relation is the highest on high and he takes you to the highest destination. You human souls now have love for the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. He takes you very high up. You have the faith that he resides in the Supreme Region. If you say, I don't know, then where did you come from? You have come down here from up above. You two were originally residents of the highest on high, the Supreme Abode, the Soul World. This is the physical region and in between the two is the subtle region. You definitely came here from there. You then adopted various forms and names. You have now completed your 84 births. It is now time to go back. Your love is now for the father. You understand that you are now sitting in front of the mother and father. You also know that first of all, a rocky of purity is tied on each of you. The father says, O oh, children, conquer lost, your greatest enemy, that is conquer Maya, Raven. You have to make effort for this. This is not a question of blind faith. You definitely have to remember the father. The father says, I tie rakhis on you through Brahma. This is called the festival of tying rakhis. The festival of making the vow of purity. What will happen then? I will give you the tilak of gaining self-sovereignty. This father is sitting personally in front of you. You understand that you have to tolerate many difficulties because of purity. All your friends and relations etc. became your enemies. The father tells you directly, children became pure. Shubaba. The unlimited father comes and gives you true self-sovereignty. Souls receive a kingdom. Souls now have donkey ship. The festival of Raki cannot really be called a celebration of Raki because people spend a great deal on external splendor for a celebration. Whereas there is no question of incurring any expense in having Rakis of purity tied on you. The father himself says, Children, promise me this and you will then claim self-sovereignty. 
Baba himself puts a tilak of self-sovereignty on each of you. Baba also granted some children visions in which they saw how, in the golden age, the father puts a tilak on his son and sits him on the throne. Those who become the Santa dynasty will sit on the throne. It is the mother and father who give their son his fortune of the kingdom. They understand that their son will claim the throne. This father himself comes and cleans your souls with the nectar of knowledge. The nectar of knowledge is not water. The father says, you have been floundering in an ocean of poison for 63 births, long lost and now found children. Your 84 births are now complete. Now remain pure in this last birth and follow my directions. You have come to the father in order to claim self-sovereignty. When a son is born to a king, he knows that he will inherit the kingdom. However, that is not called self-sovereignty. Self means the soul and it is the soul that receives a kingdom. However, they don't have the knowledge that the soul has adopted the body of a prince in order to become an emperor or empress. The celebration of applying a tilak has been remembered. The father also puts tilaks on your children when you rub the sandalwood of knowledge, when you become pure and follow Srimad. The father does not rule the kingdom himself. He does not sit on the throne. Have you ever seen such a father who doesn't sit on the throne of himself but hands it to his children? This Brahma too is an effort maker. Sri Baba is the one who inspires you to make effort. This one doesn't praise himself at all. Sri Baba comes and makes this one become like a diamond. Therefore, the main thing is to remain pure. Although you live together at home, you have to remain pure. The Father has created the sacral fire of knowledge of Rudra. It is always Brahman priest who creates sacral fires. It is not possible that Sri Krishna would say, I create a sacral fire. You are Brahmins, the mouthbound children of Brahma. You are now following Srimad. Brahma cannot be called Sri because here both the soul and the body are impure. You are becoming free means elevated. You cannot be called free now. You are now becoming elevated again. The highest on high father comes and makes you as elevated as Lakshmi and Narayan. You have to become this elevated, 16 celestial degrees full. The father asks, do you have the intoxication of becoming like Lakshmi and Narayan or that of becoming like Ram and Sita. You say that you have the intoxication of becoming like Lakshmi and Narayan. We will become part of the Sun dynasty. Why should we become part of the Moon dynasty with two degrees less? We will marry Narayan or Lakshmi, your mama and Baba will also be part of the Sun dynasty. Both Jagdamba and Jagatpita became part of the Sun dynasty and your children call them Mama and Baba. So you too should make effort. Baba puts this tilak on you and also sweetens your mouth. That is, he gives you blessings. Baba puts tilak of victory on you and gives you the blessings. May you claim your kingdom of constant self-sovereignty. The king, the queen and the subjects all experience the fortune of the kingdom there. The kingdom is only established once by the supreme father, the supreme soul. That is the almighty authority kingdom. The wisest world has been remembered. Full of all virtues, 16 celestial degrees full. The date is but the highest code of conduct never became violent by using the sword of lust. For 63 births, you have been causing sorrow for each other by using the sword of lust.
the sort of lost doesn't exist in the land of immortality. Here, because of the sort of lost, you have become completely impure and tamapratan. You children now understand that the father is truly establishing heaven again. It is in Bharat that he takes birth. The father has brought the gift of paradise for you. For half a cycle, you have been crying out, O oh God, the Father, have mercy on us, have mercy. The same thus on the path of devotion. You will not cry out in distress in the golden age. There, there is constant happiness. Everyone remembers God at the times of sorrow. No one remembers Him when there is happiness. There are many different types of sorrow. When someone goes bankrupt, there is so much sorrow. When someone falls ill, that too causes sorrow. There is no name or trace of sorrow in the golden age. The father comes and puts the legs of the fortune of the kingdom on you. This is a land of sorrow and that is a land of happiness. Souls don't speak in the land of silence. When they come here, they come into talky men's sound. Your original religion is peace. You are now receiving the self sovereignty of happiness and peace. Therefore, you have to become a child of the Father and follow his shrimat. At the time of studying, you have to pay full attention to the study. At the times of studying, you don't speak of wasteful matters. Those who do say wrong things are told, Attention, please. Therefore, the father tells the children, Your intellect shouldn't wander in any other direction. The thoughts of those who stumble around outside wander here and there. They can't wait for the holidays so that they can go home. Your children now have to study and teach others. The business of Brahmins is to relate the Gita. Those Brahmin priests also relate the Gita to earn their livelihoods. You are told that while living at home with your families, you have to remain as pure as a lotus flower. You should promise to remain pure in your last birth. This impure world is about to be destroyed. You can also see preparations for destruction. The holy cow will be burned. In fact, all of this festival refers to the present time. The father puts a tilak on each of you. Your intellect say, Baba is teaching us in order to make us into the masters of the world of the golden age. This means that each of you receives a tilak of self-sovereignty. It is the father who puts there's Tilex on you. You are now sitting here personally in front of him. Only those who remain pure can claim their fortune of the kingdom. The significance of Raki is very great. They say a sister ties a Raki on her brother and puts a Tilak on him. Therefore, sisters, you will tie Rakis on your brothers, put Tilaks on them and sweeten their mouths. How did this festival originate? It was at the confluence age when the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, made you make a vow of purity. There is the festival of birth of Shiv. Then there is the festival of Raki. Then the festival of Tashera. And then the festival of the Pavli. There is also the festival of the nine nights, worship of the goddesses means Navratri. People continue to celebrate those festivals. He experienced happiness after the Shreya, that is after destruction, the Pavli will come. There will be heaven in every home. You can tell the life story of Shibaba, Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar, Lakshmi and Narayan, Ram and Sita. You know the whole cycle. There is no one with eight to ten arms. People sat and created so many images. All of that is called West of Time, West of Money and West of Energy. 
You now understand that you have come here to claim your inheritance of self-sovereignty. Why should we not follow Srimad just as the mother and father follow it? Thus things have to be understood. The father is the creator of the human world. He is an unlimited father. He adopts so many children. He is the father of humanity, is he not? A physical father might adopt one child. Therefore, he would not be called the father of humanity. There are some who adopt a child, but when they have a baby of their own, they have more love for that child and less love for the adopted child. You understand that you have now come into God's lap. God will put a tilak of purity on each of you. You make a promise in your hearts, Baba, now that you have come, I will be your worthy child. I will remain pure and claim my inheritance from you. It is now the time of settlement for all. You have to settle all your accounts of sin and accumulate an account of charity. It is by having remembrance of the Father that you accumulate. The more remembrance you continue to have and the more you donate the eternal jewels of knowledge, the more you will be able to accumulate. The more service you do, the more you will accumulate. While you are accumulating, your kingdom is being be created. There are eight main jewels. They also make jewelry of eight jewels. Together with the goddesses, there will also be gods. However, because the mothers are in the majority, it is the goddesses that are worshipped the most. Acha, who ties rakis on you. Sri Baba himself is personally sitting in front of you. Therefore, Sri Baba ties a rakhi on each of you. He puts a tilak on you and also sweetens your mouths. This means that you will remain constantly happy in the future. You then give a gift to Baba. What gift do you give? You give everything you have. Therefore, Baba says, I give you the inheritance for 21 births. There is an account of give and take. Baba is the businessman. What do you take and what do you give? They say that they donate something in the name of God because they believe that God will give them the return of everything they give. The father says, I give you the return of everything you give on the path of devotion too. I have now come directly and I donate this imperishable jewels of knowledge to you. You then donate this to others. You are all brothers. The senior mummy ties rakis on you and the father puts tilaks on you. This mother and father are combined. The mother ties the rakhi and the father gives the tilak and you become kings and queens. Your love is for the supreme soul, the one who has come to put tilaks on the people of Parat, who made Parat into heaven. It was the father who came and did this. Shri Krishna is the number one creation and Shri Baba is the number one creator. Therefore, the mercury of happiness of your children should extend from the tips of your toes to the tops of your head. Acha, to the sweetest, be loved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Baptada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the dharna. First point. Let the love of your heart be for the one father and for no bodily being because all of your relations are now in the one father. Second point. At the times of studying the study, pay full attention. Don't speak or even think of wasteful things. Do not allow your intellect to wander around. Blessing. May you be free from worrying and experience the Father's power. 
in the form of help by being free from any thoughts. Explanation Some children worry about how service can increase when good students will come or for how long they will have to continue to run around doing service. However, service will not increase by thinking about it. Be free from such thoughts and keep your intellect free and you will experience the Father's power in the form of help and service will continue to grow. Baba is Karavanhar and I, a soul, am an instrument to do it. This is called being free from thoughts, that is having remembrance of one. Such souls cannot have any worries. Where there are pure thoughts, there are no worries. Slogan Move away from all situations with your stage of being beyond and you will experience the one father support. Om Shanti